OBS stutter judders. Everybody hates them. I hate them. I'm running a dual PC setup with a 7800X 3D with a 4080 and then my capture machines with a 13700K with a 4070Ti Super. So as far as hardware and everything I got is pretty stout, right? All right, before anybody starts asking like how I wrap my audio, I use a Rodecaster Pro 2 soundboard. So don't, don't, don't be asking me, okay? Cause uh, like I said, hefty. <laughs> I was using the Elgato 4K uh, 60 Pro. And then I tried their 4K Pro that claims that they do 1440p, 240 hertz pass through. That's false. That card does not do 1440 at 240 hertz pass through. It does pass through, but it downscales to 720p. Stupid Elgato. So anyways, I got the Aver Media GC575, which is their PCIe 2.1 HDMI card. Fantastic card, by the way. Love it. Had zero problem. So as far as what, we're, what I'm about to show you, if it's going to work for the Elgato, I have no idea. Drinking my coffee. I'm kind of half asleep. And I've been doing tests for like the whole week. And my last two to three streams have been absolutely butter. Dude, if I headshot you, I'm going to laugh my ass off. And I did. <laughs> Absolute butter, right? So the main issue with the OBS frame judder, why you're getting these like stutters or you're not even getting encoding lag or anything of that nature or frame drop, it's actually render lag. What is render lag? Well, let me come over to the capture computer. So right here, this is your stats, right? So this is on the capture computer. You have frames missing, missed due to render lag and you have skip frames due to encode lag. Shows all the stats. This right here, average time to render frame. This is what is being displayed on your preview. This is the stutter judders. Now, this is where I usually average average sit at. It's like 1.2, no, 0.9. Now, the only reason why it's doing a little bit higher than normal is because I have display capture on. On OBS, you wanna make sure you don't have multiple display captures on. So if you have game capture, or you're already capturing your capture card itself, having display capture and capture card itself will create higher frame rendering or yeah, frame time rendering, right? So if you have a scene with multiple captures, take that out, take that out. Don't do that. So display capture, I'm only gonna have it on for this purpose of recording this. So this is something you have to look at when you're trying to diagnose or try to figure out what is going on while you're having stutter judders. Two things you're gonna do, right? We're gonna, we're gonna look up a uh, game mode, game mode settings. So what game mode settings does, now people that are in the computers, Game mode setting, what it does is when you're playing a game on this computer, it prioritizes and or it says optimize your PC to play by turning off background stuff. So if you're on a single PC and you have game mode on, that's going to take processing away from your OBS, right? But obviously running on a dual PC game mode, you shouldn't really have anything running more in the background other. I don't even run. I don't even run discord on my gaming computer. Like I don't run anything on my gaming computer. So I have that turned off hardware acceleration. So hardware accelerate GPU scheduling, I leave this on on the gaming computer. Again, gaming computers for gaming. There's There should be nothing else or more on the gaming computer. So I have that on. Now I was also doing tests on single PC on here too. So that's probably why I got different settings, but this worked for single PC for me, what, for me and how I play and set up my computers. This is mainly towards dual, dual PC. So keep that in mind. Now, as far as going into like NVIDIA control panel, now if you have AMD, I'm sorry, it sucks for you. Um, G-Sync, I actually have G-Sync off. Turn off G-Sync. Do not have G-Sync on. Frame resolution, you're gonna change your hertz and everything. And like I said, I play at 1440 at 240 hertz on the OLED panel. Do this in intervals of 60. Now prefer over 60. You wanna have a little bit more frames rending past the 60 on the capture side. Now going to the physics, mine was already set to the 4080. Set this one to your main GPU. I do have the iGPU on or in your integrated graphics or whatever for my 7800X 3D. I have no issues with that. Down to 3D settings. I think I changed a couple things. Now again, I was testing on single PC, but this has been working fine for me. So I'm gonna kind of scroll down, let you look at the settings in case I miss anything. Okay, so I'm playing at 240. I have the maximum frame rate set to 235. That's to keep frames from jumping past the refresh rate. If you, it's, they, they say usually like three to four, I do five. Because you get more of a window before it taps on the top. Because for me, it jumps. So try doing five. 
if that if that doesn't work with any other setting try limiting your max frame rate on the gaming computer five below what's your maximum refresh rate lane c mode i put it on ultra man power management maximum power preferred now as far as ever, i turned i can't remember if tr uh, triple buffering was yeah it was already off okay anyways like i said just match what i got here so that right there should cover the gaming PC. Now we're gonna come over to the capture computer. Okay, we're gonna go to game mode. Sorry, I'm gonna be kind of far from my mic. Game mode. You're gonna have your game mode off. You want this off. We don't want nothing else prioritizing other, just the computer just going across the board. We want it to not be prioritizing anything else other than OBS. We will be setting OBS to be prioritized. Hardware acceleration is gonna be off. No hardware acceleration. Now, as far as down here, now on this list, once you're down here, you can go to browse, go to OBS, find your OBS, which mine's already added. You would click add, and then it would come down here. You want to set this to high performance on the video card, not, like I said, I have iGPU on on my 13700K. So find your GPU, high performance, click save. So that should be it right there on the on the uh, Windows side of things. Now on the NVIDIA control panel. Now I don't have G-Sync or VR on this side. My monitor has it. I don't have it on or off. Just no G, no G Sync, no free sync, no variable refresh rate, none of that. Resolution, I set the gaming, or sorry, capture machine monitor at 120. Remember intervals of 60, do not do 144. Try not to do 60. If you have a monitor that does 60, we're in 2024, I'd be amazed. Now on your physics settings, set that to your main GPU. I have a 4070 Ti Super on this computer. Like I said, both of my computers are pretty hefty. So this is what's working for me. Now 3D settings, I'm gonna scroll through and anything that's not set on yours, just follow it. Now, if I recall right, I think on this one, all I did was change it to uh, maximum performance and my rendering GPU to be my main GPU, which is my 4070 Ti Super. And then setting low latency mode to ultra. I think that's all I set on the global. Now, going to programs, we're going to go into make sure you find your OBS EXE. If not, go into add, find your EXE, bring it down. And then once you got your OBS, I think there's only three settings. Background application, set this to 60 frame cap. Maximum frame rate, 60. Prefer maximum performance. Highest available. Now, I don't know if this makes any change, but for me, like I said, all my stuff is working. Triple buffering on, vertical sync on. Those should be the only settings I have set for my OBS. Now, the last thing you're going to do with OBS, so we're going to go into your o, you go OBS, you're going to right click, properties, compatibility, run this program as administrator. Now, if you don't have OBS icon on your desktop, you're going to have to go through your file explorer. You're going to have to go find it, find the EXE, make this run as administrator mode so that when it has this icon on here, that means every time you click here, which mine's already open, it's gonna already auto open its uh, administrative mode, right? Now on the settings for OBS, should be a couple things. We're gonna go to advanced. Process priority high, and some people say above normal, but I set mine to high. I guess I'll show a couple things. 1440p, 1440p, 60. Some people have this like different frame uh, interval stuff. I don't, I tried that, doesn't work for me doesn't work for me and that's pretty much it now as far as like the capture card itself now on the Aver media gc gc 575 this is what has to work for this card particularly now on the elgato you would set it through the 4k utility on the Aver media you actually have to set it through here right so i have mine set the 1440 highest fps Whatever you set the capture card, which I'll get in that set in that uh, program in a second, MV12, 709, color range full. I actually leave my buffering on auto detected. Don't, 
I just leave it on auto detected. For some reason I felt like I had more frame renders when I had turned this off. Again, I don't know if Maver Media has their own set. This is what worked for me. Now, as far as Aver Media itself, they have a program here called Aver Media Re, uh, Recentral. So I have the Aver Media card set to 1440 120 right here. So you would go into your record and you would have your whatever card you have, like for mine, 120. So this is how I got my Aver Media card set up. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I've really missed anything else. Like I said, on OBS, make sure you don't have any display capture overlapping on any others. If you want to set up different uh, scenes or different game captures, set up scenes, separate them in scenes. Do not put multiple captures here. Do not do that. So as far as that, I will show you how smooth it is. This is um, this is how smooth I'm gonna open up more now right now. And I like, uh, like I was saying before, when you're going in the games, and I'm looking over at my capture machine over here. Pull up that stats right here. On your capture machine, remember you pull up the stats window. When you're doing this stuff, you wanna be watching what your frame render is. Like I said, I got display capture on top of my game capture. So this is gonna be a little higher than normal. So it's like, but you want your frame renders to be down. If you don't know where that's at, go to, go to docs and then find stats. And then that will pop up. So this is a very important number right here to watch while you're testing stuff and then looking at your frames missed due to render lag. Now, if you see one or two every once in a blue moon, don't freak out. But this is this is what I got. Let me turn off the, the display capture real quick. So even though I have the frame, remember I had it set to 135 on the gaming, uh, gaming I still set mine to 240 and I have VSync on. Do not hard log VSync on. Only do through the application. So other than that, let me know below if this helped. Now, everyone's computer is different. If you're sitting there wondering and saying like, all oh, this didn't work, I'm sorry. Hey, everyone's computer is different, but everyone has a different method of how they're doing it. And this is just a different way that I'm doing it for my specific setup. So let me know below if it worked. If not, hey, it is what it is. Find someone else to give you info.